Hey there, Elliot here. So you know those annoying iPhone lock to owner messages? Yeah, those pesky iCloud activation locks that make you feel like your device is holding your fun hostage. Well, today we're diving into the tech jungle to tackle those head on. We'll be unleashing a bunch of neat tricks to free your iPhone, iPad, or even your Apple Watch from these digital chains. And don't worry, we're all about keeping things on the up and up. Everything we're sharing is totally above board. So gear up for a tech adventure and let's turn those locked devices into freedom loving gadgets together. Stay tuned. Just a quick heads up, this info is for folks who actually own their devices but just misplaced their access info. We're all about playing it cool and legal here. So no shady business like messing with stolen devices, all right? Let's keep things respectful and stick to the rules. Our video is totally in line with YouTube's cool guidelines and community vibes. All right, now that we've got that sorted, diving right into the services, there are a few genuine lifesavers out there that are pretty solid at tackling the whole iPhone lock to owner saga. For instance, you've got iUnlock app and Safe Unlocks. Both are like the cool wizards of the iCloud unlock world. And let's not forget Unlock Here's AI powered unlocking web app and locked to owner. They pack a punch when it comes to kicking those locks away. Imagine having a tech savvy buddy who just knows their way around these locks. That's what these services feel like. They're not here to dazzle you with flashy tricks. They're here because they genuinely know their stuff. It's like having a backstage pass to some really helpful knowledge, making the whole unlocking process feel like less of a headache. Remember, this is all about sharing info and learning, keeping things on the straight and narrow. Next up, we'll get a closer peek at how to make the most out of Unlock Here's AI Unlocking Assistant. So stick around for some more unlocking goodness. Just a quick heads up, these unlocking services mostly work like a charm in first world countries. If you're somewhere where access is a bit tricky or you're feeling unsure about using these services, no stress. We've got something special for you. We're giving away 250 unlocks every week to our awesome viewers. Wanna get in on this? It's super easy. Just hit the like button on this uh, video, smash the subscribe, and drop a comment with your phone model, IMEI, and your country. And bam, you're in, keep an eye out. Good luck could be heading your way. Moving forward, here's how to use Unlock Here. First off, head over to unlockhere.com on either your phone or computer. This is where the magic happens with a super helpful AI assistant, Nifty, ready to help you out. Let Nifty know you're there to unlock iCloud by clicking on Activation Lock. Choosing the device you're unlocking is easy. Got an iPhone? Select it but it works for iPads and Apple Watches too. Next, you'll need your IMEI or serial number. If it's an iPhone, go with the IMEI. For iPads and Apple Watches, it depends. Some have IMEIs, some just have a serial number. Not sure where to find it? Just press the sleep button on your locked device, press it again, and tap the I on the bottom right to see your device info. With that information, grab that and input it here to proceed with the unlocking process. Moving on, you'll need to pop in some basic info so they know where to send your unlock confirmation. Make sure it's the right info so you can get that all important confirmation code in your email. Now, ensure you tick the box to agree to the terms and please only move forward if you're not trying to unlock a stolen device. Before you continue, make sure to click I'm not a robot and solve this quick captcha. After that, hit start process and bam, you're on your way. Keep an eye on your inbox because a confirmation code is about to make a grand entrance. Don't forget to peek into your spam or junk folder. Sometimes it likes to hide in there. Once you got the email, grab that confirmation code and make it shine. Hop back to unlock here and enter that code. Then shortly prove you're not a robot and don't miss to tap the button to validate info. And just like that, the unlocking magic begins. As you can see here, we swipe up to see the iPhone locked to owner page. In this part, it really takes time and patience. We wait for the unlock process to activate the phone. And as you can see, we swipe left and wait for a few minutes to activate your iPhone. Don't worry, it will be worth the wait. You will enjoy your phone once again, once it's finally unlocked. So we wait for a few minutes to activate your iPhone. Patience is the key here. And voila. In this part, let's skip all the setup. Don't worry, you can go back to them later on. Make sure to check the terms and conditions and skip the next steps and just set it all up later on. And there you have it. It says, welcome to iPhone. Now go to settings and create your own Apple ID. Tap forget password or don't have Apple ID to create a new one. And here just add your personal details to continue. And here's a shortcut to check your device info, making sure that this is legit. Great, your device is now fully unlocked and ready to use. If your device is locked and it's making you pull your hair out, 
don't worry. Here are a couple of ways to get back in action. First up, you can try reaching out to Apple support. Have the original invoice of your device handy because they're gonna need it. The invoice is like a golden ticket that proves you're the real owner. Talk to Apple, show them the invoice, and they'll guide you through the process of unlocking your device. It's like having a tech savvy buddy helping you out. Now there's another route you can take, resetting the Apple ID on Apple's website. You start by going to the Apple ID account page. Here you'll find an option to reset your password. It's pretty straightforward, just follow the on-screen instructions. You might need access to your email or security questions to prove you're the owner. This is like the password do-over button, hit it, follow the steps, and you could have your device back in no time. So there you go, a couple of paths to try and get your device back in your hands and ready to roll. Stick with us, more helpful tips are on the way. All right, here's another trick to unlock your device using iCloud Unlock software. Think of it as a magical key, but you'll need a Windows computer to use this magic. Not everyone has a Windows computer, so this might not be a trick everyone can use. First things first, you gotta find the right software. There's a bunch out there, but spoiler alert, not all of them work. It's like going through a jungle. You have to avoid the dodgy ones. Now these software can be good magicians, but be careful, some might be a little sneaky and bring malware along with them. If you're looking for a safer neighborhood, online services like Unlock Here and Safe Unlocks are pretty solid. They're like the good guys in this story. No downloads needed, just straightforward help. It keeps things simple and avoids inviting any unwanted malware to the party. So, whether you choose the magic key or the good guys, make sure you're picking what works best for you. Here's another way to unlock your device if it's caught in the iCloud web, especially if you can get a little help from the previous owner. Imagine your device as a kite stuck in a tree. The previous owner can help untangle it. So if the seller is cool and ready to help, here's what they should do. First, they should visit iCloud.com on a browser. They'll enter using their iCloud username and password. This is like the key to the control room. Once they're in, they'll look for find iPhone. It's like looking for the tree where the kite is stuck. There they'll see the list of devices and they just need to pick the one that's causing the trouble. Now it's untangling time. They'll click on erase. It's like shaking the branches to free the kite. This action cleans up the device, making it fresh and new. But wait, there's one last step. They should also click on remove from account. It ensures that the kite is entirely free from the tree and it won't get stuck again. And there you go. Your device should be back flying high and free. That's all for today's tutorial. Thanks for sticking with us till the end. We hope you got what you need.